Hi, name's Haney, 16 years old and just haven't been feeling good lately. Went to the doctors last week and he prescribed me some medication for bacterial pneumonia. I don't think it's working. I've been taking it for the entire time and just the effects aren't kicking in. But stuff coming up and I just need to go to the doctor. I need stronger medication. <coughs> Hey, honey. How are you feeling? No, not better. Like, since the last time I saw you, just haven't been feeling better at all. Yeah, I'm surprised to see you. Have you been taking the, me uh, the meds regularly? Yeah, I've been taking them here and there, but I'm not feeling the effects straight away. Honey, I'm telling you, you need to take these meds as I prescribe them to you. Or I've else been, it won't work. I've had these chest pains at night. I've had an annoying runny nose for over a week. You gotta take them correctly or else. Otherwise, what? In all seriousness, mate, antibacterial resistance could occur. Does that mean the medication you're giving me isn't gonna work anymore? Alright, look. Take this home and have a good break. And then come back after you finish your medication course. Alright. Bacterial resistance to antibiotics has become a major issue in recent human health. Resistance develops by gene transfer and mutation between bacteria. This mainly occurs through modification of the bacteria's metabolic pathways, altering target binding site, reducing binding capacity, and decreasing permeability or increasing efflux of the antibiotic. In addition to these mechanisms, selective pressures encourage further development involving excessively high, low, and indiscriminate use of antibiotics. So, how are you feeling now? Been taking my drugs as I meant to. Look at this. Here are a few interesting... Superbugs. So, what is a superbug? A superbug is a resistant strain of a previously existing bacteria species. There are two common species that are well-known superbugs, and these are Neobacterium tuberculosis, and Klebsiella pneumonia. So firstly, as the name suggests, Neobacterium tuberculosis is a common cause of tuberculosis, with approximately one to three people in the world being infected with this bacteria. Tuberculosis primarily targets a lung and is spread through bodily fluids and or infectious cough from someone infected with tuberculosis. Symptoms generally involve a chronic cough with mucus and blood, normally accompanied by fever, weight loss, and night sweats. Tuberculosis is generally treated with anti-TB drugs such as isoniazid and rifampicin. However, more hypervirulent and resistant strains of tuberculosis are developing as superbugs, leading to widespread resistance to anti-tuberculosis drugs. The second well-known superbug is Klebsiella pneumonia. Klebsiella pneumonia is a gram-negative superbug. This means that it develops resistance faster than its other bacterial counterparts. Klebsiella pneumonia is a particularly nasty species in the superbug group as it contains a particular plasmid gene included within its membrane, known as carbapenemase, which is a part of the beta-lactamase family of resistant genes, which is why you may find any other medication you have taken, such as penicillin and carbapenems, has done little to relieve your pain. Hey doctor, just a question about um, Hanny. Does he have um, serious bacterial pneumonia? I um, heard something about all the serious klebsiella and tuberculosis. Um, yeah, what's the go with Hanny? Fortunately, he's fine. The only thing that bothers me is when he comes up and says he wants stronger drugs. I'm going to see him tomorrow. Hey, Hanny, how are you feeling now? Feeling a lot better. Like, the drugs you've prescribed, they started working once I started taking them consistently. And the pamphlet that you gave me really helped me to understand antibacterial resistance. I'm glad, I'm glad. Did you watch the video on the back page? No, I didn't. What's that about? No worries. Let's have a look. The development and spread of antibiotic resistance are a consequence of incorrect antibiotic use in medicine and agriculture. To reduce antibiotic resistance, we need to use antibiotic less or use them more prudently. Strategies are in place by the World Health Organization in order to prevent the increase of antibiotic resistance, such as when an antibiotic therapy is to be used, it should be targeted as far as possible to the pathogen, and narrow spectrum antibiotics should be chosen whenever possible. Some of the new generation antibiotics use decoy molecules so that the bacterium-resistant enzyme attacks the decoy molecule rather than the antibiotic. 
Daycare molecules such as carbonoic acid and celibactin are already in use for blocking the beta-lactamase enzyme that destroy the penicillin family of drugs. Also, you can prevent the infection from occurring by improving your infection control and hence hygiene standards. The government is now trying to educate about the use of antibiotics and infection prevention studies, which targets both healthcare professionals like myself and the general public. These prevention methods need to be met and administered in all aspects of our society or else it will be fatal to manufacture an antibody that could lead to the creation of a greater resistant superbug that will leave us defenseless. Alright Hanny, that's it for today. You're free to go. Thanks a lot. Really appreciate your help and hopefully I don't need to see you soon.